Welcome to Event Log, a series that looks back at key moments, people and fossil discoveries that shaped the world of paleoanthropology. The history of paleoanthropology is dominated by an obsession of applying new genus and species names to nearly every fossil that made its way into scientific scrutiny. With the passing of the 20th century, this obsession dissipated as scientists began to realise such preoccupations were redirecting some much-needed attention away from many important relevant questions. Today's event log reminds us of what had been. But first, let me introduce three gentlemen. W.C.B. Koolhoven was a Dutch director of the Geological Survey of the Netherlands Indies. Franz Weidenreich was a German anatomist and paleoanthropologist based for much of his life in Beijing, and had a long association with the Homo erectus fossils of Zhao Kudian, China. Finally, let me introduce Gustav Heinrich Ralf von Königswald, a German paleontologist, geologist and paleoanthropologist. Interested in geology and fossils from a young age, Gustav von Königswald worked in Java prospecting for hominin fossils. The Dutchman and two Germans crossed paths in discussions about two Javan fossil mandibles. The debate centred around the size of the mandibles, which at the time seemed too big to be attributed to a hominin or human-like species. And so, on this day, the 15th of January 1942, Kuhlhoven wrote a letter to Weidenreich, letting him know that von Königswald was keen to attribute Sanhiran 5 and Sanhiran 6a to Meganthropus paleo-Javanicus. It would be eight years before von Königswald would introduce the new genus and species formally. Over the next few decades, Meganthropus paleo-Javanicus began its slow dissolution from scientific discourse, replaced by the hominin title Homo erectus.